Hollingsworth here from OJ Hollingsworth Personal Injury Law, and we've been talking specifically during this Ask the Expert segment about dog attacks. And we have an email from someone named Jessica who actually wants to know about dog on dog attacks rather than dog on people attacks. And uh, I believe the email came in asking, what is the recourse there um, when you have a hard time controlling your dog attack another dog? Does it work like people? Yeah, it's not the exact same as people. Well, in fact, it's not even close. Like the dog owner liability and that strict liability we're talking about, that doesn't apply. Okay. The, lo, the, what the law uh, thinks of animals is that they're property, mm, right? Okay. Like it's not like it's your child, even if in fact it's like your child. I mean, I know I love my own dog. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, if another dog attacks your dog, uh, you could sue them for the vet bills. Uh, if your dog dies, you could sue them. For the value of the dog. Really? Yeah. So, you know, you spend a thousand dollars on your dog, you could probably sue for the replacement cost. <laughs> and um, that's, I mean, that sounds, uh, that's, I know that's horrible to every animal yeah. owner because of how much you love them. Yeah. Uh, but that's how the law, I mean, if you think about how the animals have been thought of long, long time ago, yeah. that's how the law I is mean, written. They, they, yeah, they treat it the same way if your cow got injured or okay. your, you know, Essentially, property. Okay, so yeah. there you go. Somebody destroyed your fence. Yeah, so it's not very satisfying yeah. generally, and I, okay. I get those calls fairly often, and I feel very badly, but that's essentially how it works. Yeah, okay. And your heartbreak um, is not likely going to be compensated unless you, you know, I mean, maybe if you developed an illness, like an actual uh, depression that was documented, mm -hmm. there might be something, okay. but... Uh, Probably not a case I would take. All right, there you go. Yeah. Okay, let's talk. Let's get back to uh, dogs attacking uh, human beings, and we talked about that strict liability. So, if you own a dog, and you said if you own a house, check your uh, homeowner's insurance and make sure that you're covered for a uh, dog and the liability that you have there. What if you don't own a home? Yeah, so lots of people have apartments so, yeah. or rents so, or, or whatever and have dogs. Uh, you should, for many reasons, have tenant insurance okay. if you're a renter, not just because you have a dog, but you should have it generally because all kinds of things can go wrong. Um, but make sure your tenant insurance also covers you for uh, anything your dog may do. Uh, because if there is no insurance and if the injuries are very serious... The lawyer's coming after you personally, wow, right? Okay. And so uh, we can garnish your wages. There's all kinds of things that can be done to collect where somebody is, is needy of compensation. Yeah. So, um, you know, tenants insurance is generally not very expensive. It's a really, really wise uh, investment. And I know the insurance brokers around Ottawa are cheering right now, but you, you really should uh, yeah. make that investment. Well, the other thing about that is that... Uh, it, no dog owner, I don't think, thinks, well, my dog's a, a danger to the other person until it happens, right? It's like you hear it all the time, the clips in news and things like that. It's like never before, totally docile, right? and it like it's a full-on attack. It's like it's worth getting that insurance. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, all of the dog cases that I've handled, the evidence was always that the dog had never done anything like wow. that before. You know, one time, and it doesn't have to be a bite, right? Like sometimes I had a case where a dog jumped up on a lady Oh, yeah. And she got knocked over and broke her leg badly. Yeah. Um, you know, that's the same thing. And, you know, dogs jump. Sometimes yes. dogs jump. Yeah. And uh, they're excited for whatever reason. Maybe they spent too long in the car today, and so they're unusually frisky. They're animals, and you can't predict everything they're going to do. So be insured. And one of the th biggest things I think is a takeaway here, and it doesn't matter what the other person's doing, yeah, you say, well, my dog doesn't like when people put their face in your face. You're still liable. That's a strict liability issue, right? Well, that's right. So okay. you have a dog that doesn't like when people put their face in their face. So right. you're responsible for that. They, and make sure that you're staying out of that situation. And if it does happen to you, always make the phone call because you think that you're going to recover, but uh, sometimes you don't. Yeah, I mean, free consultation, right? There's no, Why not have a free consultation? That's, that's our theme at our firm. Why not ask the question? Right, okay. And, uh, you know, nobody chases you with a contract or anything. Just ask the questions. And if I'm attacked and, uh, and I say, I just want to touch base now and see how I recover, is that possible to put on hold for a little bit? Absolutely. Okay. Two-year limitation period for adults, same as uh, other personal injury cases we've talked about. All right, thank you very much. Thanks ask a lot. Ask Brenda CA if you have a question. Info at ottawalawfirm.ca by email. They're located at 1443 Woodruff Avenue, but I recommend the website, askbrenda.ca.